I've bought a horse. Have you? The best horse in Rome, by all accounts. I'm very happy for you. That's a gift for your great uncle. I want you to take the animal to Gaul and give it to him in person. Why? Well, when he's back in Rome, everyone will be giving him gifts. We must be first. I doubt he will return to Rome any time soon. The Senate's hostility will prevent him. Legally speaking, oh, it is not clear. please don't start speaking legally. You know how it bores me. It's a long way to Gaul. Exactly. While yet a mere boy, you would risk your life to honour your beloved great-uncle. You ride into Caesar's camp alone on a noble white stallion. Well, that's a gift he won't soon forget. Alone? Well, you'll have plenty of slaves. You'll be perfectly safe. And you'll make your mama very proud and happy. Oscar Octavian! Baby boy! My poor rabbit! Oh! So thin. Was it very horrible? Of course it was. I can't even imagine. We shan't even talk about it. We should just put it totally out of our minds. We're back safe at home now. Who are those? You ought to be very good to them, Mother. They're particular friends of mine. Friends? In what particular? These are the men that took me from captivity. First Spear Centurion Lucius Varinus. And legionary Titus Pullo. So, we embrace you. Good fearsome specimens you are. I wonder it took you so long to subdue those odious Gauls. There was a great many of them, ma'am. <laughs> great many, very good. We'll be away then, sir. Oh, but you must be rewarded before you go. Caster, bring me my purse. That won't be necessary. Will it not? I, I don't want to break any regulations. They shall stay and eat, Mother. Of course, there should be bread and meat put out in the kitchen. I mean, they shall eat with us. Obliged, sir, but I must go to my wife. Your wife has waited eight years. She can wait a little longer. Caesar has given them honorary horses, and they ride with the standard. It's perfectly acceptable to eat with them. Splendid idea. It's symbolic. We shall all dine together as equals. How many dead altogether? Oh, uh, I don't know. I lost count ages ago. Lots, though. And you, Lucius? 309 fighting men. I don't keep count in civilians. You're very exact. Well, the war temper requires an exact number when you make an offering. It's a lot of wine and goats. The uh, priests offer a discount when you pass 100 priests. Crooks, many of them. I just talk direct to whatever god I'm doing business with. Bugger the priests. <laughs> Too few people can be bothered to do things the proper old Roman way. I commend you, Lucius. Varinus is a strict Catonian. I believe in the divinity of the Republic. If Cato believes the same, then I suppose I am a Catonian. But Cato represents the rights of the nobility. Surely a plebeian like yourself would like to see some changes made. It should remain as it was at the founding of the Republic. Why should that change? Because the Roman people are suffering. Because slaves have taken all the work. Because nobles have taken all the land. And the streets are full of the homeless and the starving. Well, I had no idea my son was such a firebrand. The nobles say that Caesar is a war criminal. They say that he wishes to march on Rome and make himself king. That is sacrilege. No man of honor would follow him. Well, I'm no man of honor then. Because I say Caesar should ride in here with elephants and squash Pompey and Cato and anybody else that wants it. Never mind the law. That's what I say. You say that because you govern your reason no better than you govern your tongue. Forgive me, it's my fault for mixing politics and wine. More tench? Dormouse, perhaps? Thank you, I won't. Don't mind my saying it, but, uh, you two make unlikely friends. We are not friends. I am his superior officer. By virtue of rank, if nothing else. That is enough from you! Please forgive our vulgar ways, madam. We are not fit for your presence. Not at all. I've enjoyed your company immensely. It's been most refreshing. And with your permission, we shall leave you. Do come and visit us again. Octavian needs reliable friends. You may depend on you, I trust. As you say, madam. 